the island boys will basically do anything for money. So I stumbled upon this and I thought this was going to be pretty funny and kind of interesting. So island boys accused of incest baiting as they tease their OnlyFans. Now this article is back in like oh, uh, June of 08, but, um, or the 8th of June would probably be a better way to put it. I just find this very interesting because you have these individuals who basically were able to get super viral for a very short amount of time to where all they basically do pretty much on their free time seems to be just responding to random people on TikTok. That's like literally their whole day or something like that. And like, it's not like they've made like much money from like their YouTube channel because like you see like 184 million views and you're thinking, oh, that's potentially a good amount of money. You might think so, except for when you realize that basically all of their videos are like under 10 minutes. They're very short videos. Like some of them are like a minute. Some of them are like two minutes, three minutes. So in terms of like ad revenue, maybe, maybe they made a hundred thousand from this. Maybe, right? But you could pretty much uh, assume that they didn't even break six figures on their YouTube channel, more than likely. And they do like this cameo thing where they like charge like a person like for like a personal video like two hundred bucks. You can message them for four bucks for whatever reason. You and like this is the thing like they are basically going down the path of like pretty much basically being like e-girls almost where they're trying to go super heavy on doing the whole OF thing right to try to make money which funny enough you can tell one twin one of the twins is actually trying to make this like a legitimate stream of income versus the other one Right? So this one twin has like 178 posts in like 202 media on their stuff, right? On their OF. The uh, the other twin, right, has five. Five posts. So you could tell which twin is actually trying to make money and make it like, like a legitimate thing. Which like funny enough, this one, this twin, the fly soldier, right? Based off the amount of people that are like liking these posts, right? Like 872 likes, uh, let's see, 93 likes, 153 likes, 208 likes. I mean, I'm going to assume that they like this one, like this individual probably has at least maybe a thousand people actually paying him like a subscription, right? So I'm going to assume that he's probably making potentially... $12,500 per month, maybe, maybe even more than that. So he's actually making like an actual living from his whole like OF thing, right? Which, you know, props to you to make like money on your own and doing all that, right? Using your social media, your presence to actually make some money, props to you. Because personally, I don't really judge people for doing the whole OF thing. But the thing is, I feel like you could create a similar business model, but not having to actually go and just like show your dick everywhere, right? Because the thing is, like, this business model is actually great, right? It's recurring revenue every single month. It is a monthly subscription. So think about if you could basically make ten to twelve thousand dollars per month every single month. That is an amazing business. That is an amazing stream of income. Right, but because they're doing like the whole OF thing, it's like it's it's a little bit sad because like once you post that stuff on there, you're not really going to be able to take it down. So like your sense of like privacy is basically gone. Like there's like a lot of negatives with like doing something like this. But personally, I don't really judge people for doing it. I like the business model. It's just it's kind of sad when you really think about it. But now it's really sad because like again. 
one twin is actually making probably really good money from this, like a livable income. The other twin did this and probably didn't make basically anything from it and is not trying at all, right? Like imagine doing this whole thing. Imagine getting super viral, doing this whole thing, and you, what, like post like five pics and that's it? That's all you do? You don't make like any attempt to actually try to like drive traffic to this page to try to generate more money? You're just like, okay, five pics, I'm done. <laughs> I, I mean, and the thing is, it's not like they're like, uh, I guess they got like a fans lead thing too. This is for like 12. But like this guy still only does like six photos or something right so again one twin is actually trying to make money the other twin it kind of seems like a moron honestly but it's also kind of like sad because like here's the thing they're both portraying like they got like crazy amounts of money right but they are like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars allegedly in debt to like a former manager slash producer or something like that but they're trying to like portray that they got like millions of dollars to their name which they probably don't and if they did they probably spent all of their money because they were foolish like i mean this one is like i don't know like hold on this one's standing with some cars what is it So this one is standing by a bunch of, like, what, McLaren, Lamborghini, and a Tesla. But funny enough, apparently these cars are owned by Jack Doherty, whoever that is. So I just find it interesting because, again... These, like, island boys are trying to pretend like they live a certain lifestyle, right, when they don't. And the problem that I see with this is that, like, you got, like, one twin that is potentially actually making good money, like, compared to, like, normal people. Like, 12 grand a month recurring to yourself is pretty good, right? Now, probably makes, like, overall, like, maybe on average, like, 20k per month from their like different sources specifically that one like this one the fly soldier one is apparently the one that's actually trying to the whole of thing and take it seriously okay 20k per month that's pretty awesome but they're trying to portray like a lifestyle that potentially that they have like a million dollars apparently like their tiktok's also kind of like crazy too But this is the problem that I see. Anytime you see someone that is able to get a lot of money very quickly, you really need to manage it in a way where, one, it could either last forever, or two, you can set it in a way that it will generate some sort of income for you to make things a little bit easier for you. And what I mean by this Let's say that they were actually able to make like a million dollars so far or like two million dollars so far that like some celebrity net worth are trying to say that that's their net worth. They could put that into like a couple of real estate properties, rent it out for basically somewhat passive income per month at the very least to pay for their living expenses so that they don't necessarily have to work a typical job and they could keep trying to do their whole music thing, which is what they were trying to do. But because they weren't really making much money, they went down the path of doing like OF stuff. And again, only one of them seems to actually be doing it (laughs) and potentially actually making money from it. So (sighs) to me, it's just like, Try your best to make as much money as you can. Make sure that money goes far so that you're never put in a situation where you feel like you have to do something like OF to bring in money, right? Now, some people choose to do OF just because they could make 
crazy amounts of money. And if you want to go do that, if someone wants to go do that, go ahead, right? Because you could potentially make really good money. But that is not a guarantee. There are so many ladies that are super attractive that try to do this sort of thing and they make nothing. Maybe, maybe make an extra a couple hundred bucks a month. Are you willing to just put like every inch of you out there for that type of stuff? Are you really willing to do that? For like such a small amount of money that you could just work like a part-time job for, that you could maybe do sales and get like a sale of one item and do that. Like that's the thing that you get like really like take a few steps back and see like, okay, is it worth the money, right? For one of these brothers, it might actually be worth the money because they are potentially making multiple six figures a year, potentially. But the other one is like, you probably haven't made anything from it. Maybe a few grand, maybe 10 grand, maybe. Like, why even bother continuously doing it? It doesn't even make sense after a certain point. But the problem that I also see is that maybe not both of the brothers, but for sure, one of these brothers is just going to lose all of their money, just completely lose all of their money. And if they're also doing like, let's just say like drugs as well, and also trying to like live a lifestyle that they can't actually afford, one of these brothers is just going to be completely broke, probably be homeless, probably be getting taken care of by the other brother if the brother is still willing to do that. So like to me, I just see this as like a cautionary tale. It's like you might end up getting to the point where if you are not smart with your money, at least a little bit, you could like basically, you know, light up super fast, like get money super fast and then just burn through it completely, very quickly. And you're going to be put into situations where you were living a certain type of lifestyle, potentially, and you're now basically forced to do things to try to maintain that lifestyle, right? Like if you're living like a lifestyle where potentially you're spending, because again, there's like rumors that they were spending like, I think 10 to 20 K on like homes that they were living in. So like if you're trying to live like a millionaire's lifestyle, when you're not really a millionaire and you can't continuously make really good money every single year, you are going to be in a very bad position very quickly and you're going to be increasingly decaying your boundaries to keep trying to make more and more and more and more money, right? You see this also with a lot of these like social media influencers where let's say that they start making like 100K, 500K, maybe even a million a year, right? And they start escalating their lifestyle. Now they got like a Lamborghini, now they got a mansion, now they got multiple cars, right? Maybe they got multiple houses now. Well, they're going to keep on trying to maintain that, potentially even grow that, which means that they're probably going to be more likely to maybe take a sponsor that they don't really like that might be a little bit scammy just so that they could try to make a little bit more money because they want to maintain that lifestyle. And you really don't want to be putting yourself in that situation, right? So again, this is just like a cautionary thing so that like if you're someone that is potentially making really good money now or has the potential to make really good money very quickly in maybe the next few months, maybe in the year, next year, manage that money in a way for like long term, right? Where like you're thinking about that money long term. It's like, okay, can I buy a home and pay it off with the money that I earn so that I never have to worry about a mortgage payment ever again? Can I just buy a couple cars or my car that I really want free and clear so that I never got to worry about being able to drive someplace? Like set up your finances in a way where if things hit the fan, you're good. 
right? Even if things go super bad, where you lose your like income stream like a crazy amount, you're good, right? Like for example, if I was in the like island boy situation where I got like super famous super quickly and I made crazy amounts of money very quickly, let's just say like four million dollars, right? Somehow I was able to make four million dollars, snap of the finger type of situation. I would structure that four million dollars that I made in a way where that I could be comfortable for the rest of my life if I could never physically work or do anything to earn a single cent ever again, right? To where I could literally just go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep again, and still be financially okay. That's how I would structure that money so that I would be safe, right? And again, the problem that I see with so many of these influencers that like skyrocket, they just burn through all of the money, like all of the money. Now, I understand them wanting to live like an awesome lifestyle while they're young, which, you know, go ahead and live an awesome lifestyle, but you still got to put money in a way, like set money in a way where you're going to be okay. At the very least, you're going to be okay. Or at the very least, you don't got to work a normal nine to five job, right? Because what's the point of doing this whole like social media thing and you actually end up making it work just so that you can go back to potentially working a nine to five or basically be forced to go do some sort of criminal activity to earn money because these guys have been like arrested I think for like multiple times so it's like if they lose their income stream you're not really going to be in a good situation right what type of skills do you have and then you're going to be trolled constantly because of your social media content so it's just something to really think about like these guys can't really work like a normal nine to five job basically anymore like at all so like the one guy the one brother that's actually going pretty hard apparently from what it sees in terms of like the number of posts that he's doing for that of stuff he might actually be able to have a sustainable career online to where he could potentially make money forever as long as he's able to work online, like props to him. But that other brother who hasn't basically done anything, he's basically screwed, right? From what I see from like just like, you know, a hundred feet away, a thousand feet away, whatever the saying is, that one brother, the whatever, the um, the red something, whatever it is, he's basically screwed, right? Like, he's not going to potentially make any money. So, sucks for him. Good luck to them, but, man, you don't want to be putting yourself in a situation where you got to go down this path to try to make money. Right, and it's also weird that they're kind of like doing like some like really weird like incest gay thing to like promote their content kind of stuff, and apparently some sort of the rumors is that they have done stuff with each other, which then it gets kind of like weird because they're like they're identical twins. So then it's like, is it gay if you're kind of like doing it to yourself? I don't know. This is like a really weird situation, right? Like, I I don't know. Like, it's just weird, right? This whole thing's weird. Let's see. Yeah, so one caption reads, I love getting kissed. Sub to my OF, though. I was doing solo content, and he's seen my S. The caption reads... One user commented, MFs fell off and started resorting to incest baiting. And, like, this is the thing. Like, imagine getting so viral, getting, like, you know, lit on fire, basically, in terms of, like, virality, and then basically burning out so much that you have to kind of resort to this really cringy situation, right? again there's like a lot of ways to make money do you really want to go down this path to try to make money I 
Yeah. Feel free to give your thoughts on this. Again, to me, this is just, again, a cautionary tale of uh, what not to do if you go super viral. Just be careful with your money. Like, to me, the way that I view money, if I were to get, like, big amounts for whatever reason, I kind of like structured like, okay, this is like my living expenses for a year. Let's see how many years this actually buys me, right? So like, think about it. Let's just say, you could like think of it like this. Let's say that your living expenses is like 30000 a year. Let's just say that, right? So let's say that you won a lottery of like, Two million dollars after tax because it's just easier, right? So we divide two million divided by thirty thousand, right? That means that would buy you sixty six years, right? That's kind of like the way that I view it, right? It's like, oh, I literally just won sixty six free years of my life, right? So another way to look at it is like, let's say that you are now making like a $200,000 per year income, right? And again, your expenses are still the $30,000. Let's just say that. That means every year that you work, you are basically making or buying, per se, six years of your life right or 6.66666 years of your life so like when you put it into like that perspective it's kind of like opens your eyes to like oh wait a minute like if i want to retire early per se this is how many years i need to work to be able to buy that future time right and also, of course, this like changes. If you make more money, that will mean that you could buy more years for less time of work. If you get your living costs lower, that means you could actually make less to make the to buy the same amount of years. Or if you were to, you know, spend less on your living expenses while also making more money. That just makes your goal potentially to like retire early way quicker. So it's just something to like really think about. It's like, okay, how can I manage the money that I make if I'm going to make a lot of money very quickly in the best possible way to really enjoy it, utilize it, and basically be set for life. Right, that's the way that I view it. Because again, they probably so far have made like maybe a million, maybe two million after everything, but they probably spent all of their money and then some. And you only got basically one brother actually making potentially recurring money per month, because it seems like only one of them is actually like a hard worker. <laughs> 